Thank you so much, Mike. How many people here went to a tea party? We all did! Alrighty! Rock on! You look good in a yellow shirt. Sorry. I'm getting one of those. <laughs> and Bobby gave me the sticker for my car, so I want them to pull me over. I want to be on every radio station saying they pulled over the suburban mother with her don't tread on me thing on her Jaguar. <laughs> it's the only one probably in, in all of New England. Um, I just want you to know that the tea party thing is just starting. Um, this thing was huge. I think it was huger here in Rhode Island in terms of impact than anywhere else in the country because we're a little state filled with a lot of people who haven't really gotten involved before and or you know we've had all these different little fiefdoms all over the place and no one's ever been able to get together and come together as, as one unified voice and that's what we were able to do thanks to so many of you here who spread the word and um, I mean I can't even begin to thank everyone that, that helped to put that together but going forward um, and none of this has been announced yet, but we are forming a 527, which is a formal nonprofit. Um, so that you, I'm sure you've all heard of the Swift Boaters. They are 527. What this will enable us to do is to uh, raise funds and throw bombs. And so, if some rich guy says, "I hate Patrick Kennedy," I'm going to give you fifty thousand dollars to get rid of him. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> right? We want more. But what? Well, hey, you never know. With, with money, and with the people, that's what it's all about. It, that's what was so important about it. It was so many people, and that's why we need to keep the momentum going and have everyone remain, um, just involved with it and engaged. You can't, you can't let it die now. And so we have another event planned on June 10th, which is going to be, um, the theme is basically going to be revolving around the Gatsby Day, which is the real tea party. And Rhode Islanders can come to the State House again, and we're going to have a, a set um, dialogue, basically, with the t budget that's going on. We have a $661 million deficit in the state that was just announced, and um, we know that if we don't get up there and show our voices, that the General Assembly is just going to raise our taxes. They're going to raise, I've already talked to the governor, and they're going to raise um, property taxes by not instituting the reforms at the state level that need to be done so that the municipal people can do their thing. There is uh, an across-the-board sales tax that they're looking to implement, so right now, Rhode Island has sales tax in place for a few things. What they're going to do is spread it across a whole bunch of things. They're looking at increasing the gas tax again, um, and some other things as well. And so we all need to come together again and say, you all need to look at spending, where you're spending the money, instead of just taxing us all the time. And there are a whole bunch of different things that they can cut that they refuse to or have refused to do in the past and it's up to us to put the pressure on them to do that and we need the numbers to do that so june 10th um we're looking at four to six because that's when the general assembly is going to be in session we need to be there and then we need to get the word out to them afterwards um you know call the legislators and say okay this is what you need to do i'm sick of being taxed you need to cut spending in these areas, and we need to show them that there is an opposition to the special interests. And another thing that I just want to say is that the House Finance Committee hearing that's taking place, it was supposed to take place tomorrow from 12 to, to, to um, 2 or so. That's been rescheduled, so if anyone was planning on showing up at the State House tomorrow, don't. Um, that's, 
Is that why it was I rescheduled? Have no plan, man. Okay. I know, I know. Is that so why it was rescheduled? Because we're all playing. Uh, maybe, it. but it's next week. <laughs> all right, can you, can so you notify us? I will send, yeah, I just found out. They literally <coughs> just did it. They probably did it at the last minute in order to screw us all up. Can you sign that right? Yeah. yeah. So we can all Absolutely. But please spread the word because I, you know, um, there is an ethics committee um, or an ethics um, probe being done at the uh, at the judicial lit. I think it's called lit. Uh, judicial complex tomorrow in Providence. So if anyone does show up by mistake, no, it's all day actually nine nine to three. You can always go down there and protest against the uh, corruption that's going on. That's what we're standing for. We're standing against corruption. Right, right. right. Um, Why, so, do they have that in Rhode Island? Yeah. No. <laughs> they invented it in Rhode Island. Are you kidding? Good job, Colleen. So, um, next, next Wednesday, from 12 to 2, is the House Committee, House Finance Committee hearing. But the import and that's important. We all need to be there in room 35. Um, at the state house, but most importantly, remember June 10th, and um, and that this is going forward. And then we're going to have a float in the Bristol parade, our IT party. So yes. So um, if anyone wants to help with that, please let me know. But I just want to you know thank you all for being part of this. Uh, there's this is the only way that things are going to change is with people showing up and putting pressure on these guys because they're scared. They're afraid. You got it. They are. Yes, they are. They could not believe it. This is the first time in history in Rhode Island that there has been an opposition to the special interests and the big corporations, everyone that's in the pocket of these legislators. And we're the only ones that are going to change that. So I thank you all, and I pray that you all remain engaged. That's what it's going to take to, to save the state. And then to get Patrick Kennedy out. <laughs> this concludes this program broadcast. We the People, a freedom of speech television show. Go to www.wethepeopleofri.org.